All right, guys. Still July 31, 2021. Let's do it. Come on. Here I am alone staring at a screen trying to keep myself up. Yay! A whole lot. Well, not a lot. But some of you think I'm doing fabulously in there. Yeah, you guys are really happy for me. Wow. See, that's the problem with the cyber world. I would have my face in these videos if I didn't look so bad. I have aged rather rapidly. It's it's pretty, I don't know. Oof. Um, well, I want to say shocking, but it's not shocking. Um, considering, you know, everything that we are living, everything that I have lived. So, no, it's not shocking. I don't like it. Uh, the heat, the heat, oh man, the heat, I am so done, this heat wave, which they did say that it was going to be <laughs> permanent or semi-permanent, they weren't lying, they weren't lying, this was, oh wow, I took a lot of them, um, well, let's see, 93, 5 p.m., and that was uh, oh, the 28th, the 29th, 96, 2 p.m., uh, 98, 5 p.m., 94 at 8 p.m., 90 at 1 p.m., and I believe that's the 30th. So we had 28, 29, 29, 29, 30th, the 30th, 100, 4 p.m. Oh, 30th, 101, 5 p.m. Just, well, I guess things are different here in Montana. Uh, it usually the, you know, temperature starts to go down, like certainly 3, 4 o'clock on the East Coast, not here. So, okay, the 30th, this is the 30th, 100 at 7 p.m., 96 at 8 p.m. This is not fun. So, this was today, 76 at 12 a.m. Well, it just turned uh, to the 31st. 76 at 12 a.m. It felt hotter than that. Um, 86 at 12 p.m. 89 and it didn't, it, well, it's supposed to change every hour. I thought it was updated every hour. Uh, but 89, you want to know why I went back to look? Because I literally could feel the warm air come in the window. And I thought, all right, it's going to be another fabulous day here. But look at these temperatures. I don't understand why these temperatures change. Like every hour they change. The forecasts, 98 Sunday, uh, 86, 93, 95, 88, 79, 82. Wow, I'm going to have to wear jackets. Um, but really? 98, 86, 93, 95, 88, 79, 82. Weird. But this heat here is, this is not, my eyes are swollen. All right. During the winter when it gets really dry, my nose starts to really hurt. I have never experienced my nose hurting in the summer. Never experienced it in South Carolina. Well, there's humid humidity. Not here. It's so flippin' dry. Oh, wow. Humidity at 28. That was a high humidity day. So 91 at 1 p.m. today. Uh, 
then it goes to 97 at 3 p.m. Wow, that's a pretty big jump, but I could feel it. And it's still, it's uh, 20 of 10 p.m., and it's still incredibly hot. So 98, 3 p.m., 99, 5 p.m., yep. Not, I, I did it again, because I'm telling you, there's something, the heat is just not, it's, it's not fun. 7 p.m., 100, that's tonight. I'm tired of it. 95 at 8 p.m. So, yeah, I'm, I am not okay with this. Let's go on. How are you guys doing, by the way? Because these temperatures here, I think, are a little bit less than in other places, not just in the U.S., but also in Canada. But the West Coast, wow, they're bringing it on. They are bringing it on. I don't remember the last time it rained here. Uh, they are bringing the California drought all to all Western states. Well, Arizona, you've had your drought. But Canada border officers vote to strike. Warn of supply chain disruption. Wow. We've got supply chain disruption up the wazoo. Oh, and guess what? What? Okay. We spent like never before. The United States saw record drop in poverty last year. When when we lost 7 million jobs, disappeared, businesses closed, non-essentials you can't work. But somehow poverty dropped last year? Does that make sense? When people see these headlines, they actually believe them. Okay. I don't... All right. Everything is ass backwards. Reality is getting so gutted. Forget it. You, you, it's like you can't even talk to people anymore. It, it, it's, but you know what happens to people who are in need of help? Finance. Look at how many people are being evicted. Poverty dropped. The economy is, that's how, the, the economy is doing so fabulously. And there are so many Americans who believe it. They believe it. So when people need help, can't find a job or whatever, they get judged. You're lazy. You're not, oh, there are plenty of jobs. The economy is doing beautifully. All right. Really disappointed to see this. Workers whose employers are mandating a vaccine for continued employment have the power to say no. Our robust economy and job market gives them the option to find a new employer that values personal choice and responsibility and doesn't force mandates on their employees. Governor Nome, South Dakota? Really, Christy? You think the economy is doing, it, it's a robust economy? Maybe in South Dakota? Okay, but who's mandating uh, schools? Hmm, teachers. Well, every school mandates the vaccine. Where are they going to get a job from a new employer that values personal choice and responsibility? Uh, health, health care centers and hospitals, where are they going to get another job when hospitals and, well, pretty much the, the entire medical field is mandating the vaccine? This, okay, I can't stand... When I actually, you know, like somebody, you know, 
respect them, not so much like them. Um, and then they turn out to be... I don't understand. But, oh, a whole lot believe the economy is doing well. So yay, Christy. Damn right she is. Damn right. You know, um, it's very true. You don't have to work for an employer that mandates vaccines. But what about health care? They deal with immune compromised and those who can't get vaccinated. Does this message apply to them as well? Sets a dangerous precedent for those people. Okay. Um, they do have a right to say no, and the employer has a right to say, okay, bye. The point she is making is those who are unvaxxed can find another job relatively easily in this job market. Well, that's the problem with lies. The economy is tanking. The economy has tanked. They artificially prop it up, but the Fed just injecting more of its printed money. Uh, it, we have the biggest bubble ever, and it's going to burst. And those in the financial field, so many are coming out and saying, we're in for it. But then you get this, and then you get a lot of Americans believing the lies, and those who need help get slammed. You just don't want to work. You just don't want to do this. You're lazy. You're, you know, you're not taking personal responsibility. Lies are really dangerous. Lies are incredibly dangerous no matter who speaks them. Okay, listen to this. All right, this is uh, NHS UK. NHS nurses tell high-risk expectant mother that they will be PCR testing the baby once born, that the baby isn't the mother's property. It's the mother's property when the baby's inside her not when it's outside. Wow. Okie dokie. Well, we can listen to just a few minutes, but I will link below. I'm not going to play out the whole two minutes. It's, look, you know, danger point? No, well, we've crossed it. We've crossed the danger point. <laughs> Right or wrong? Because it is my property. So you will while, while, the, while the baby's in your abdomen. Well, so you're saying they, once the baby comes out, it's not my property no more. Yes, it is. I gave birth okay, to me. It's so, got my blood running through its baby. Okay, Stacey, I'm just trying to explain to well, you. Well, you're what not helping me. Today. You see what you're doing? Right, now you're, now you're time, stressing. Oh, they may have a little note. I'm going to stop you now. I don't want to hear no more of it. Okay, well, that's my duty. Yes, you don't want to hear because you told me about five bloody times, and I'm sick of hearing. I don't need the stress. Once again, I'm looking stressed now. I haven't leaked all day. Now I'm leaking. Do you really think I need this bullshit about COVID when I've got a risk of losing my baby or possibly something? Exactly. Like You're more worried about the I'm COVID than the baby. No, about COVID. Do you know what, Stacey? Let's get our stuff and get out of here now because this is pissing me off. off. Are we signing ourselves out now, Stacey? Because they're not COVID testing my baby. End of. So we're gonna. They said they're gonna get security if we don't apply now. <laughs> this is wicked. Do you know this is going viral? Yeah, this is disgusting. I'm outside all day long, so now I am not in your company because I know how you all feel. You know, I know you don't want me here, really. I know you don't want to have to do what you've got to do because of this stupid compliant, compliant crap. But I'm sorry, when it comes to care for a patient or something, you've got to understand and, and, and listen to what they're saying. You can't tell me that you get to give me the go, get to give me the say of what happens once my baby's born. I don't think so. I don't think so. Do you know what I mean? Well, good for her. Um, the end of the video was, you know, there were packing up to, to leave. Um, who, who could possibly say to an expectant mother, 
Well, the baby is your property when it's inside you, but not when it comes out. That's when we get to take the baby and do whatever the hell that we want to do. You know, the, testing the baby for COVID, what then happens if that baby comes back out with a uh, positive result? Is it isolated? Do they isolate the baby from the mother? Very scary time we're living. Okay, sneaky NHS app becomes passport today officially. Hugo Talks. I'm sure you guys in the UK know about Hugo Talks, but if anybody doesn't, you need to come over here, click on the link below, and then go like that. Very good videos, and just a few minutes of this. Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. This is the second video today. I did a video earlier on the third backup channel about the Facebook groups in Ireland that are going after and shaming the pubs and restaurants that are opening and complying with the tyrannical laws that have been introduced in Ireland. So check that out if you haven't seen it. So I wanted to make this video about this news story today, which just seems to be like getting only a brief mention here and there, here in the Evening Standard. Now this is no surprise to me or to those who have been following the website. I said this months ago, it was an estimated guess and I got it right. COVID vaccine passport is here after change to NHS app official. Wording on app shows change in policy with businesses now able to check on double jabs. So I said ages ago that the NHS track and trace app would morph into the passport. All that talk of, oh, it costs billions. Oh, what a waste of money for this silly NHS track and trace app. No, it's a passport. It always was. That was always the plan. If they had told you that straight up, then many wouldn't have accepted it. And so many have been lulled into downloading this NHS track and trace app and it's actually a vaccine passport. Well, you know, it's out there. I mean, the information has been out there. <clears throat> what they can do with these apps, what they can do with that tracing, what they've been doing even before the pandemic, tracking pretty much everybody spying on everything that we do here in the cyber world. So how anybody could trust you know, anything today is beyond belief, really. You know, but those cell phones, you worried about a vaccine passport or tracking? They're tracking you anyway. Listen to this. Extra powers for work sites, but we, we keep getting told households, the big problem, are you gonna be going suburb to suburb, street to street? door to door, knocking on these and actively looking for people who are in the wrong house and finding them on the spot. Yeah, look, absolutely. Overnight we conducted hundreds of checks, particularly of those who were close contacts or who have the virus. Thankfully, everyone was home as they were supposed to be on health advice. We'll continue to do that. We know home to home transmission is a huge issue for us. We know that people are bringing it home from work sites that aren't complying with health orders. So if you think about the powers that I've asked for, it will take it to those businesses that are breaching the health orders and it will take it back to the homes that are continuing to breach the health orders that are putting us into an extended lockdown. For breaking wow. Going street to street, door to door, knocking on those doors, actively looking for people who are in the wrong house, finding them on the spot. Absolutely, Sydney police. Sounds tyrannical, doesn't it? Here, Italy. The Italian parliament erupts in chaos over the new green pass rules. Tornate al vostro posto e depositate i cartelli. Tornate 
nelle vostre postazioni. La ho citato, colleghi deputati, collega Mollicone, deputato Mollicone, la richiamo all'ordine. So almost like we're watching, you know, a, a football game, uh, but you know, the football players are wearing suits. No green pass. No green pass. Hmm. Well, it's passing everywhere. But, look, Italians, they sure do know. Mussolini. <sighs> okay. Um, reporters asking the deputy press secretary, uh, you know, where they are getting their information from, you know, and I think one of the reporters actually says, well, is there any data that you've seen? I understand the question. Well, how do you test when, that it's the dominant strain in the area when people just test whether they're COVID positive? Well, we don't, we don't, we don't test the we don't test it. We listen to public well, health and scientists and they tell us it. that it's the Delta variant. Explain their process for that? I, I don't even understand. Why would they explain? Why explain their process of how they're determining it's the Delta variant? I mean, that's what they are telling us. I laid out why, why they, I laid out how contagious it was and I laid out why uh, why we needed to act on the Delta variant. I, I laid that, out a lot of why. The answers we get is because they say so without a lot of Well, they're the experts. Out. It's not it's not just they. These are scientists. These are experts. I just said that, hold on one second. I Hold on one second. I just said that Dr. Lewinsky said just recently in her 20-year uh, career, she had never seen a, a variant that was so contagious. So this is 20 years of her career. So this is absolutely, absolutely Absolutely, a, a major, major problem that we are trying to deal with. That's why we heard from the president yesterday. That's why we keep talking about people need to get vaccinated. So that is, that is, the, that is the way that we're trying to move in this administration, making sure that we are protecting uh, people here, making sure that we're dealing with this pandemic in a way that is effective, and that's how we're going to move forward. I'll take another question. I'll go ahead. Walensky said so, okay? And, you know, her career, 20 years, she said she couldn't get it wrong. I like this guy's response. As a medical student, I wish the experts say so is an acceptable answer on my exams, in my exams. Question number one, how do you know if an ECG tracing has a first degree AV block? Answer, it's when a cardiologist says so. You pass, especially now, since uh, we're going equity. Everybody passes, even if you get the wrong answer. And how? A medical student, now you don't even have to put in any effort to study biology and understanding that there are, oh, I was just about to say two sexes, understanding that there are not two sexes, that we're getting rid of the male and female sex, whatever. It's, can you actually sound articulate when you're trying to talk about today's happenings? All right. Here, Dr. Debbie Burnett from Colorado. I work on the COVID floor at my hospital. It's full. Here's Debbie. The entire floor plus the ICU are at capacity with COVID patients, almost all unvaccinated. 
<laughs> okay, whatever, Debbie. Our district has one of the lowest vaccination rates because our representative, Lauren Boebert, spreads lies and misinformation about the vaccine. Um, she works on the COVID floor. She's a vet. She's a vet. A veterinarian. She's a vet. My name is Dr. Debbie Burnett. I'm a mom and veterinarian and a COVID frontline worker, tractor driver, and small business owner. I'm also the Democrat taking on Lauren Bobert. Is that how you pronounce her name? Please help support our grassroots campaign by chipping in here. Okay. Um, how many of your patients are in ICU, Debbie? But I read somewhere that you also um, have, you know, the big animals like horses. Who, who's in ICU, Debbie? Who? 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 Okay. Um, she's a veterinarian. American couple fined 50000 for traveling to Canada with fake vaccination documents along with fake negative test. Caught. Each was fined about $25,000. Unnamed travelers? Hmm, don't like that. Mm. Well, this could be just don't try to get into Canada with fake documents. Or it could be true. Who knows? Um, you know, we've got, we have seriously, but we're, mm, yeah, okay. This is what's happening now with our politicians. They call one another names. They post TikTok videos or uh, tweet out videos like ripping other, their colleagues apart. This is not the kind of stuff we ever saw. But they sure are. Well, revealing who they truly are, immature little children in positions of power who are destroying all of our lives. This is Pelosi. That's the, uh, that's the purview of the Capitol position, the official capacity uh, mandate from him. I have nothing to say about that except we honor it. Leader McCarthy, uh, Leader McCarthy says it's, it's against the science. Well, if she is so brilliant, can she tell me where the science in the building changes between the House and the Senate? Can she explain to me when the CDC says only vaccinated people need to wear a mask in hot spots? Can she explain to me if D.C. is a hot spot, but it's clarified by everybody else it's not, with more than 86% of vaccination within here? And could she explain why that physician mandated the mask wearing in the house but not the senate that's weird isn't it well here she is explaining okay she calling mccarthy a moron is kevin mccarthy a moron and if so why um i i said earlier in my comment science 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 and science on almost every subject that you can name science is the answer whether it's the climate crisis, whether it's a health crisis, whether it's our preeminence in the world in technology, science, 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 science. Uh, to say uh, that wearing a mask is not based on science, I think, is, is not wise. And that She's a lying sack of shit. She is a lying sack of shit. How do we get through to our fellow Americans? Okay, I've posted so many 
videos on the science, 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 not the lies, lies, lies coming from this sack of shit. My God, it's just going to go on and on. It'll, it'll just go on. On the CDC website, they had actually a review. It was a literature review of, oh God, getting close to getting, can't say it, it's YouTube. You know what I'm talking about. They just lie and people believe it. These people are, uh, look, we've had criminals, you know, <laughs> in this government forever. Um, it's so friggin' upsetting to me. Why, why? Here, uh, New York City angry mom. Both my husband and I were probably as left-leaning as they come. Now, a lot of the liberals, Democrats, are waking up. Many don't have the kind of courage that this woman has. But when they say that they're left-leaning, that they're talking about being a, a classic, a classical liberal. They're not talking about this left. So, both my husband and I were probably as left-leaning as they come. Uh, and you know what? I used to, you know, I used to describe myself, uh, 20s, 30s, I don't know, um, as off the charts liberal, meaning I just wanted people to live their life, leave them alone. It was a freedom statement. But that's what the classic, uh, that's what classic liberalism is about. It's about freedom. It's about individual rights. The Democratic Party is no longer, they're just communists. I just walked into a room and he was watching Ted Cruz's speech from today, both of us agreeing with every word. I really hope the Democrats grasp that they are now the party of lockdowns and forever pandemic. You know, I'll link below. You should read some of her. She has a whole thread on the gaslighting that has occurred. Um, blue states will turn red. Well, you know, I, I listen to Republicans. I agree with every word that they say. McCarthy. It's too bad, the Democrats. And I'm talking about my former friends. You know, all of the degrees on the wall. And I could not engage any of them in a serious conversation about Obama being yet another lying sack of shit. He's lying. Oh, Carol, you're so negative. Oh, I have evidence. You're just so dark. <sighs> All right. Hotels in popular Mexican resort towns now require proof of vaccination. You want to go to Cancun, Playa del Carmen, Cozumel, Tulum? Forget it. Unless you have that vaccination card. Mexico president rejects jabs for kids. Won't be held hostage by profiteering pharma companies. Look at this. This is what he said. We need to be careful because, as it is obvious, pharmaceutical companies wish to make a profit and would like to keep selling vaccines for everyone. But we need to prioritize. We need to know if they're needed or not. We need to know. Uh, we need to not be subordinated to big pharma dictating to us, we need a third dose, we need a fourth dose, we need to vaccinate children. The Undersecretary of, for Health said there was no scientific evidence showing the jab was essential for minors. Oh well. 
you know, now with virtually every video, I, I say things and I think, can I post this? Biden administration ordered employees to downplay COVID cases and migrant children at Texas border facility whistleblowers. You know, in migrant children, children, well, we know all about what, see, this is the difficulty, okay? How do you, like, <laughs> it was never even identified, CDC, on their website, this virus not identified. So, <sighs> Delta and United Airlines are providing African migrants free flights to the United States. The infrastructure bill could sink American crypto industry. Not a drill. Um, you're surprised? We're going digital. We're going cashless. Who do you really think there's going to be a crypto industry outside the central bank? Hello? Okay. Well, the links are below, man. I, I, I really... Oh, I'm going to end with this. I love this woman. Listen. So recently I've been doing a lot of research on how to be a good ally and how to be... I personally hate the term ally. I think it's disingenuous, but for conversation's sake, we're just going to use it. If you want to be a good ally, as you call it, stop saying stuff like this. You seem so sweet and so genuine. The last thing you need to do is get caught up in an ideology that is just evil. Pause and listen to what you're saying because this is white supremacy, that you are inherently privileged because you're white and I am inherently disadvantaged because I'm black and I need you. I don't know where you're doing your research. I don't know where you're getting your information from, but I advise you to step away before it turns you into something you don't want to be. I'm a human being. I have a name. I am so much more than the color of my skin or the struggles of my ancestors for which they found victory or else I wouldn't be here. I don't want people in my life who believe I'm disadvantaged because I'm black. Baby, that's not allyship. So recently I've been doing a lot of research on how to be a good ally. How sad. How sad is it? How sad is it? She does seem very sweet. She wants to do good. So indoctrinated with lies. I don't like lies. Have you noticed I don't like lies? Have you noticed that? I'm really, 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 uh, let's see, opposed to lies.